Hello, students. In this video, we will explore some really interesting ideas in chemistry. We will learn about how matter behaves, why it stays the same during reactions, and the tiny building blocks that make up everything around us, called atoms. To begin, let's discover the law of conservation of mass. This law tells us that matter cannot be created or destroyed. In other words, the total mass of the reactants in a chemical reaction is equal to the total mass of the products formed. For example, if we combine hydrogen gas and oxygen gas to make water, the mass before and after the reaction remains the same. This law is all about how atoms rearrange themselves, but they do not disappear or appear out of nowhere. This idea comes from Antoine Lavoisier, a French chemist who is often known as the father of modern chemistry. Next, we have the law of constant proportion, also known as the law of definite proportion. This law tells us that in a chemical compound, the elements always combine in fixed ratios by mass. For example, in water, which has the chemical formula H2O, there are always two parts of hydrogen for every one part of oxygen. No matter how you make water, it always contains the same proportions of hydrogen and oxygen. This shows us how compounds are consistent in their composition. Now, let us dive into Dalton's atomic theory, created by John Dalton in the early 1800s. This theory lays down some important ideas about matter. Dalton suggested that matter is made up of indivisible particles called atoms. Each type of atom is unique to its element, like all oxygen atoms being identical. Atoms combine in fixed ratios to form compounds, such as two hydrogen atoms joining with one oxygen atom to make water. Although Dalton's theory was groundbreaking, scientists later discovered that atoms aren't indivisible. They can be split into smaller particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons. Plus, atoms of the same element can have different masses due to varying numbers of neutrons. Now discover the fascinating world of atoms. They are incredibly tiny particles that make up everything around us. Atoms are measured in nanometers, where one nanometer is one billionth of a meter. Each atom has a central nucleus containing positively charged protons and neutral neutrons, with negatively charged electrons orbiting around it. An atom's identity is defined by the number of protons it has. For example, an atom with six protons is always carbon. Every element has a symbol which is like a code. Hydrogen is H and oxygen is O. The first letter of an element's symbol is always capitalized, and if there's a second letter, it's lowercase. The first letter of an element's symbol is always capitalized, and if there is a second letter, it is lowercase. Now explore the concept of atomic mass, measured in atomic mass units, AMU. Atomic mass tells us how heavy an atom is. For example, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 atomic mass units, meaning it's 16 times heavier than 1 12th of a carbon-12 atom. Next, let's look at molecules. Molecules are the smallest units of a substance that still keep its properties. For example, a water molecule, H2O, is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom bonded together. Atomicity refers to how many atoms are in a single molecule, Monoatomic means one atom, like argon gas. Diatomic means two atoms, like oxygen gas, O2. Triatomic has three atoms, like ozone, O3. And polyatomic means many atoms, like sulfur, S8. Molecular mass is the total mass of all the atoms in a molecule. We calculate it by looking at the atomic masses of each element in the molecule. For example, the molecular mass of water, H2O, is calculated as follows. Two hydrogen atoms into one atomic mass unit, plus one oxygen atom into 16 atomic mass units, equal to 18 atomic mass units. Moving on, we have ions, which are charged particles formed when atoms gain or lose electrons. Anions are negatively charged, like chloride ions, Cl, and cations are positively charged, like sodium ions, Na+. When anions and cations attract each other, they form ionic compounds like table salt, nacl. Valency tells us how many bonds an atom can make. For example, hydrogen has a valency of one because it can bond with one other atom. Oxygen has a valency of two because it can form two bonds. Finally, let's learn about the mole concept, 
a unit that helps us count particles in chemistry. One mole equals about 6.022 into 10, raised to power 23 particles, known as Avogadro's number. This helps chemists work with practical amounts of substances and make calculations in chemical processes. Now here is a question for you. What is the atomic mass of an oxygen atom in atomic mass units, AMU? Please share your answer in the comments. The complete curriculum for Class 9 is available on our channel. Check out all the links provided in the description below. Please make sure to like, share, and comment for more such videos.